A further five seven-figure lots to be recorded during the third and final session of Book One resulted in a total of 16 yearlings to break the million guineas mark in what was a remarkable record-breaking edition of Book One. The session topper on day three was bought by Richard Knight Bloodstock, who ended the sale as the week's second leading buyer behind Godolphin with a list of 16 yearlings purchased, including this eye-catching Frankel from the Lloyd Webber's operation. Well, he'd always been a lovely horse all the way through from a foal to now. Um, he belongs to a very, very good established client of ours, Bjorn Nielsen, obviously of Stradivarius fame. And um, but what I really was so happy about was that he was born and bred at our farm in, in Ireland, Kiltynan, and um, he came over to Watership to be prepared for the sale at Watership. So he really encompassed both farms. He was reared in Ireland, prepared here, and then came here and um, yeah, made, a, made a price that I didn't expect. It was another Frankel colt who commanded the attention of the ring just a few lots earlier, when the Fittick stud consigned colt out of Blue Waltz, a half-sister to top race mares Fantasia and Pink Symphony, sold for 1.9 million guineas. He was secured by MV Magna in partnership with Peter Brandt's White Birch Farm, who as a partnership have bought 13 lots this week for just over 10 million guineas. Dali's leading stallion Dubawi also got on the score sheet of seven-figure lots on day three, with Longview Studs colt by the standout sire out of Howe, herself an own sister to champion Minding and classic winners Empress Josephine in Tuesday, selling to Godolphin for 1.6 million guineas, one of 35 purchases for the week's leading buyers. Godolphin also added another Dubawi to their haul when swooping for lot 504, a colt out of Group 1 winner God Given from the family of Postponed for 1.5 million guineas. It was no surprise to see Sheikh Mohammed's operation stretch for the son of their flagship sire, who is a half-brother to the team's weekend autumn stakes contender Silver Knot, much to the delight of the vendors Watton Manor Stud, who were acting on behalf of Andrew Stone, St Albans Bloodstock. We've, we've always dreamt of selling a million pound horse, never really believed it would happen. Um, a few years ago, Andrew Stone very generously sent his pride and joy, God given to us. And um, we were so lucky last year when she sold the Lope de Vega for 725,000. And when he won a group race, we thought, oh, well, we might have a chance. Um, and he's just behaved beautifully here. I think he absolutely owned the ring. He, he looked like a sort of man amongst boys, and it, it was just a dream, dream. Competition to secure the best stock by Dubawi continued throughout, with lot 491, a colt out of Dan Silly Mare Frangipani, no exception, when offered by Norris Bloodstock. The half-brother to Group 2 winner Trobo required one million guineas to ensure the change of ownership, from owner-breeder Lord Margadale to successful purchasers Ed Sackville and Maria Ryan acting for Manor House Farm. This is a horse which we particularly liked out of a, a proven young mare. Um, Maria went and saw him this morning and gave him a, uh, gave him a final like and uh, I think liked him very much. Very um, good family and John and Jess really, really liked him. Um, they play a big part in selecting as well. Obviously they're not at every sale, um, but they every evening sit down, go through every single video, every single pedigree and yeah, they're just very involved and like this one very, very much. So we're very pleased. Completely over the moon. And you know, we always loved him. He was a lovely horse from, you know, the moment he was born. And he was, he never turned the hair at anything. He's, he's done everything that, that's been asked of him. And um, it's great that he's going to a good, a, good, a good home and we will be able to enjoy him and watch him. At the end of a remarkable week of record-breaking trade, Tattersall's marketing director, Jimmy George, reflected on the appetite for the top quality bloodstock on offer this week. I think it's fair to say it has been a pretty extraordinary yearling sale. Um, book one of the Tattersall's October yearling sale is always a highlight of the, of the year, and certainly of the bloodstock sales calendar. It is Europe's premier yearling sale. It's the showcase for so many of the, of the best bred and best looking yearlings to be found in Europe or anywhere in the world, to be honest, by some of the very, very best stallions. We thought we had a good catalogue. We thought it was a little bit special, but nothing really prepared us for, for the results we've had over the last three days. They have been truly, truly exceptional. Um, I think, you know, the, the stage was set 
with the first two lots on, on day one. The first lot in made 500,000 guineas, a Galileo filly, and the second lot in was a Dubawi filly who made 1.3 million guineas. And the demand has been sustained literally right until the end. So it's been fantastic for everybody. I guess the feature as ever has been the demand at the very top of the market and uh, the sheer number of, of the most successful racehorse owners in the world who have been here throughout the week competing uh, with each other for, for these outstanding yearlings and, and they've made a massive difference and I mean the, the figures tell the story there were 16 million guinea yearlings in the last three days it was 73 yearlings made 500,000 guineas or more I mean extraordinary number you know I don't think it'll come as a great surprise to anybody that it was a record median of 200,000 guineas and a record average literally a couple of a couple of pounds below 300,000 guineas and uh, yeah the turnover of 126 million is the thick end of 40 million guineas more than this time last year. I, I mean, they, they really are uh, the, the most extraordinary returns and uh, a tribute to everybody. There's so much hard work that, that goes into preparing these yearlings, to breeding these yearlings, to nurturing them, to getting them here to book one of the Tattersall's October yearling sale, looking as magnificent as they almost all do. Uh, you know, it, it's, it doesn't happen easily or simply. There is a lot of hard work going into this and to see so many vendors rewarded so well has been fantastic for all of us. It's great for the industry. It's great for everybody to see that you know the returns at Tattersall's at book one of the October yearling sale have an impact on the wider industry and give everybody encouragement, especially as we go into the second week of our yearling sales, books two, three and four. It, it just puts a spring in everybody's step. I think the key to book one of the October yearling sale is the diversity uh, of the of the consigners that support the sale they they target the sale they recognize it as Europe's premier yearling sale and this really is the showcase for the best yearlings to be found in Britain Ireland and throughout Europe and we've had a number of French consigners here this week who've had fantastic success and to see that to see the support we're getting from throughout Europe is a real tribute to to, to this sale it attracts the top buyers from throughout the world and it attracts the top consigners from all over Europe and they come here confident that they will find a marketplace of this sort of strength. And I think what's particularly pleasing from the Tattersall's perspective is to see so many international buyers returning year after year, particularly in recent years, our strong contingent of American buyers. And this repeat business is success driven. They've bought some very, very good racehorses out of book one of the October yearling sale in recent years and that keeps them coming back and they're hungry for more. This sale is consistently producing Classic and Group 1 winners uh, and a greater percentage of Classic and Group 1 winners than any other comparable yearling sale. And that gives the vendors confidence because they know the buyers understand that and they will be coming to book one of the October yearling sale at Tadassals looking for their future champions.